What are those, Steve? Shock Ninos. Oh yeah, Shock Ninos. I have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> I don't either. Full auto? That oh. sounds dangerous. Is this a or... <laughs> Wait, that means they gave us the wrong ones because this is a stick. <laughs> this is semi-auto. <laughs> this is the Thursday before the NASA season opener and I received my coilovers. I, uh, I got the notification, the email like earlier in the week that they were showing up today. So last video I said that the track vlog was going to be the next video, so I kind of lied. This, this is the next video and then the track video. But yeah, my coilovers have arrived. Uh, I'm at Steve's place. We're trying to get these on like tonight, so that because tonight's the only time we can. Cause I have work tomorrow, and in the morning tomorrow, I need to take it to uh, Buy Body Sports to uh, get it aligned. And then I won't have time Saturday because I'm working. It's my mom's birthday, and then Sunday is the track event. So now right here, we kind of already opened the box, but I have a bunch of swag from them. Damn, there's there's. There's four sheets of these? Wow, that's, I thought it was just three. Okay. Y'all already saw that we had a uh, shock dynos and a owner's or a manual and all that. But here, let me show you the, the coils. Ah, uh, damn. Let's do the front ones. These are the rear ones back here. These are the Club Race GT1s from Meister R. I mentioned the like numerous times that like I've been working on getting coiled and these were the coils that I was working on getting. I ordered, actually I originally ordered their club race um, line at first. I'll, I'll get into the specifics on another video, but I had to wait several months because long story, they hooked it up, they hooked me up with club race GT ones, which are their top of the line ones. I'll get into the uh, specifics and all that in another vlog because it's crunch time, baby. It's a few more days till track event, the NASA season opener. I have work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, he has work tomorrow, I forgot. So, actually, I have work too, but it's later in the afternoon. Oh yeah, I also brought the rear sway bar from Progress and the rear camber kits. If my recording is weird, it's because I'm using my phone in the excitement of them arriving and then coming here. I forgot my camera, so I'm kind of just good old-fashioned phone vlog. <laughs> All right, guys, here. Uh, it's finally happening. The car is going to be a completely new car after this. Yeah, my fingers are that strong. <laughs> oh. Yeah, new hardware. What do you mean? These look almost like... I oh, know, these are the top nuts. Is that a spanner wrench? Nice. Yeah. Sweet. And they're, they actually have a cutout freeze socket. Uh, like oh. a ratchet. Alright. This is one side, guys. Fairly didn't take that long. Didn't take that long. It was fairly simple. With the original coils, they weren't there. That's right. Here, that's the original one. This thing was huge compared to... Uh, Compared to the uh, coil over. Right now, we're just putting all the mount mounting bolts back in to not just, not only to the coil over, but to like the brake line, the ABS sensor. Um, what we had to do was when we unbolted the stock strut, Steve was holding this up so that way the axle doesn't pop out while I grab the coil and we fish it in between here and up. And it's, uh, it's not bolted down as you can see. But it's enough to just hold it there for for, for a little bit. Uh, they came with new top mount top hat uh, bolts or nuts, I should say, that we're gonna use. And as you can see here, the dampening adjuster and then the pillow ball uh, where where the uh, camber can be adjusted. But yeah, so we're just buttoning buttoning up those uh, small little and here and there. We kind of left it how it is from the factory in terms of like height and preload and all that stuff. So we're just gonna play around from, we're just gonna use this as like the benchmark and then play around with, with settings from here on forward. It looks good though. Lots, lot less mass in there. But that's how it looks compared to my hand and then. That's how big. <laughs> Probably gonna skip recording on the driver's side. 
because it's the same exact process. Although, I'll start recording after we're done there, so that way you guys can see. Then we'll move to the back. So, driver's side's done. We're just buttoning up all the wires and lines and whatnot. The front section of these coilovers are effectively done. I adjusted these already ahead of time to all the way soft or like one notch up from all the way soft just to just to see how they ride just to see how they ride on their on their least aggressive setting from then we'll just play with the settings uh, from here on forward chances are the height will probably be good probably won't change the height FYI to get to the rear struts you have to take off all the, you know, panels and molding and whatnot, and one on each side. It is going to be a little tricky. See, we put PB blaster on, but it's going to be a little tricky because there's two mounting uh, bolts for the rear to the chassis of the car. One's right there, and one's directly opposite on the other side. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. So it probably would help if you had like a swivel head for your impact or something. Um, that's probably going to be the most annoying part of this process, but then there's like one mounting, one mounting hole, or one mounting bolt for the bottom, right down here. PB blaster on that too. What we're going to do is install the coil, the coils first, and then we're going to mess with the sway bar and the camber kit. Nice. So it probably doesn't need a lot of work or like a torque setting. It's about 30, 30, well this size, 14 mil, this is a M10 thread, mm -hmm. usually about 30 to put that. Okay, so not a lot. Not a lot. Want to disconnect the camber arm? It'll yeah. probably, because uh, that's probably what's keeping it there. There we go. Nice. More or less, this side's rear coil over. We're just gonna put on these uh, hard race or this hard race. Camber kit, I button everything up, everything, uh, call that side good. Then we're gonna go do the other side, and after we're done with that side, then we'll put on the sway bar last. Man, this rear end suspension component area is starting to come together. In terms of aesthetics, it actually looks nice with all these aftermarket parts. Rotor, rotors, coils, camber kit, soon to have the sway bar. Nice. All right, guys. So we decided to take off the the uh, sway bar first before we even start messing with that. But Steve's doing that now. But we just discovered that this progress chassis brace bar that goes here. You we need to remove the trailing arm bolts, which isn't hard per se. It's just that you know there's a whole different way to torque them down, line them up, stuff like that. So just keep that in mind if you guys get any of these uh, extra stuff with your sway bars. Just FYI. Uh. Uh. Nice. Oh See you guys, you need to follow Steve because he's so fucking strong. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, wait. Yeah. Progress. So we finished mounting that. We didn't mount. We didn't put on the end links yet. We'll do that last. 
but we wanted to get this part on first. And because we had to undo these uh, lower control arm bolts, we're gonna have to put a load on this. Uh, once we hook up the suspension and all that, put a load on it and then torque it down. But yeah, so it's not too uh, not too difficult. It's just a lot of things we. If we were just doing coilovers, this and this part back here would have been done a while back, but since we're doing more components, it's taking a little bit longer than we expected, but it's not necessarily difficult, it's just, just tedious, tedious things. Okay. Oh yeah, brand new stuff. This thing's gonna handle on like a... Dream, or at least I hope so. <laughs> it's gonna be taking getting used to, that's for sure. I forgot to record when, we, when me and Steve buttoned up this rear end, but everything is good, everything fit, everything is uh, torqued down, and everything. Well, mostly. This is gonna have to get torqued down tomorrow once I get my camber adjusted. I mean, but it's still good, it's not hitting anything. Everything is uh, spot on, everything fit. And uh, check that out. Got a little. It's off the ground, obviously, but it's it's uh once it starts settling in, once it's what's on the ground and settles on, it's uh it's definitely got. I'm, I'm definitely one of the low life guys. Yeah, boy. Steve went ahead and made sure the lines of stuff were torqued down on the fronts. The toe is probably definitely well more than likely off, but yeah. it should be okay to just drive for here to my house, and then from here, or from my house to Five Auto Sports for Daniel to do the alignment. I'm not gonna record that because it's like whatever. I'm just gonna be there for like an hour or something, depending on what you have to do that day. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long because I gotta go to work after that. But. The only thing we have left to do is once it's on the ground, we gotta go to all four corners and torque these mounting nuts on the coils. That's the last thing. Well, then clean up. It's already like midnight, so Steve's got to wake up early in the morning to go to work. Damn, I got a helicopter on that side. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we didn't adjust the arm joint. Yeah. Well, there's some camber on this side. I could. It's probably hard to see on camera, but I could. I could kind of see some. It's definitely not equal, but it's something. So. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, next video you'll see is going to be the track vlog at MSRH during NASA season opener. Steve just informed me that it, it might rain that Sunday, but the day I'm going. So, damn. <laughs> Bummer. But shout out to Jarek, the owner of Meister R, for hooking me up with these coils. And me and him have been, you know, collaborating on this for a while. Um, Still got some, I'll still explain all this in another video. I have some big news about that too. But shout out to my star, Jared Lowe. Uh, hit him up on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And peace.